Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another WWE figure review. This review is going to be on Basic Series Chris Jericho. Bought it at Kmart today for 10 bucks. Pretty good deal, considering how sought after this figure is probably going to be since Jericho's back. But let's jump right in. Here's the package. Looks angry for something and looks like he's going to kick your ass. It's WWE $9.99. It's a good price for a piece of shit. Nah, I'm just kidding. I, I love you, Jericho. Don't, don't. Oh, no, now he's mad because I call him a piece of shit. I'm sorry, Jericho. Don't be so angry. Eh, at least his figure is not so mad. But there's the packaging. Standard packaging. Here's the back. You get Booker T, Mark Henry, and all these other guys. I actually saw Mark Henry and John Cena at, and Zack Ryder at Kmart as well compete in these superstar rings. Raw, SmackDown, and SummerSlam. Pretty cool. Alright, so let's free him from his plastic prison. Break the walls down! It's my very first Chris Jericho figure. I'm so excited. Oh man, if only he had the jacket to be complete. Yes, I know they just released an Elite with the jacket. But let's take a look, shall we? Here's his face scan. Wish my camera would focus better, but this is a pretty good face scan. He's kind of got like the content face, kind of like the Daniel Bryan. He's got his signature awesome hair. I wish, uh, well, I don't wish, but I hope they come out with the uh, updated Jericho with his tattoo on his forearm. Well, I can't remember if it, wait, that's, that's his bicep, you dummy. I uh, meant, this is his forearm. I think he has one on his forearm and on his bicep. I'm too lazy to check. Actually, I can't check because I'm doing a video. Dummy. Here's his tights. I love the color scheme. I think blue and yellow go together very well, and it's got like a silver spike thing. Let me raise up his arm. I can see that. It's got like a silver kind of spike thingy, and it's the same design on the butt that was on the front. And you got the knee pads, they're just solid black. And the boots have a similar design with the blue and yellow tribal thing that's a Jericho. And you got like a silver stripe sort of thing. So, overall, it's a very nice figure. He does have the black wrist tape. It's a pretty good figure. Um, face scan looks like him. Body's pretty good. I like the tights. I'm not sure any more of them, but, you know, I still like them. So it's a very good figure. Yeah, I'm fi happy to finally have a Jericho. Um, obviously, his attire is a little bit different since he returned, but, yeah, I, I like it. It looks pretty good. I don't know if this is me, but look at his right wrist. It kind of like bends downward. I don't know, take a look at his fist. Notice how like the arm just angles up and it's just angled, but on the other arm it kind of just like the wrist kind of like angles this way. I don't know why it does that, if it's supposed to do well if it's supposed to do that I'd be fine with it, but I don't know, this just bugs me for some reason. And I just now noticed it. Uh, eh, whatever. I'll just live with it. It doesn't it doesn't look bad, but it's it's just odd. I don't know. I don't know what's up with it. Y2J is back. He's my pick to win the elimination chamber. What I think is going to happen is I think Dolph Ziggler is going to cash in on Del Rio, and Jericho is going to win the Elimination Chamber, setting up Jericho versus Ziggler at WrestleMania. That'll be a match to watch, the rematch from SummerSlam, and these two just have great contrasting styles. Like, it'd just be an awesome match. I can't wait to see it. So, thank you for watching, everybody. This has been another WWE figure review. Uh, stay tuned for more, because I'll have uh, Drew McIntyre on the way. And I will see you later.